The RuneCraft skill came out in early 2004, and ever since, players have hated training it. Unless, of course, they were making record-breaking profit with laws or nature runecrafting. RuneCraft was one of the most profitable moneymakers in the game, so the XP was slow and the altars were far from banks. But in the modern age, players care less about profit and more about the achievement. AFK methods like Zaya runecrafting came around, and now there's even a minigame to help players stomach getting through this skill as quickly as they can because nobody wants to runecraft. So when JCW tweeted that he was getting 400,000 runecraft XP per hour, it definitely got some attention. That's almost four times the experience you can get using day alt essence at ZMI. And even if you had runners at other altars before, you'd get a max of like 280,000 runecraft XP per hour. As you can see, JCW is steadily maintaining over 400,000 XP per hour with the use of runners constantly trading him essence. This is possible because of the new Sunfire runes. Crafting them requires fire runes and Sunfire splinters, and JCW never has to leave the altar at all. This beats the old best in slot method of using runners to make lava runes by over 100,000 XP per hour, but Sunfire runes don't require binding necklaces or casting magic imbue. So it's less intense, more XP, and you'd get 99 runecraft a lot faster. With Sunfire Splinters being over 1,000 each right now, it's prohibitively expensive. JCW submitted this to the RuneScape Chronicles team directly. Thank you very much, and everyone, please go check out his channel. He makes some phenomenal videos. JCW's full video on this topic is linked in the description below, so go check it out. However, while working on this update for you guys, Jagex have just come through with an update to the XP. Just in the last few hours, the method was hotfix for runes to give 4.5 XP per rune instead of 13.5. Then I checked in with the JMods about this, and they showed me a dev blog segment dedicated to this topic. Now the updated Varlamore dev blog indicates that crafting a Sunfire rune will now yield 9 XP per rune. So this gives us the impression the 400k XP per hour rate was completely unintentional, and they weren't trying to break any runecraft metas with this update. But they've patched it up in less than 48 hours though, so no maxed skillers were too horribly harmed by the devaluation of their skilling. And just in the spirit of giving you the latest information, this dev blog addresses a ton of community concerns about Varlamore and comes with a bunch of new tweaks to the Varlamore expansion. For example, reducing the healing offered by Snowy Knight mixes, and discounting players 75% of their death fee at the Colosseum until 100 waves have been completed on the account instead of the original 50. For more details and other changes, the blog is linked in the description below. Welcome back to RuneScape Chronicles, I'm your host KempQ, and I've got a few announcements for you before we get started. For our 1 billion GP competition regarding the boss challenge speedrun, our winner was Short Dude, who went from level 3 to killing his first boss on his account, the Crazy Archaeologist, in just 4 minutes and 40 seconds. Short Dude collaborated with Zodell, and we love to see the sportsmanship. They split the winnings 50 50-50. Also, we've seen your feedback, and in the future, we are going to aim to make challenges both more accessible and less solved in the future. If you want to pitch suggestions, which would be really, really helpful, please go to the Roll Assign channel in the community discord and sign up to be a community channel helper. Then you get access to an exclusive channel only for helpers where you can give suggestions so we can make the best challenges possible. We were so focused on this last challenge video that we missed a regular upload before that. So for the first time ever, here is a whole week's worth of moments from Old School RuneScape. And let us know if you like the bigger updates. Because next on the announcements list is our upload schedule. For years, we've brought you the hottest RuneScape content, either daily or every other day. While it's been a blast, we have never had a consistent weekly schedule. So now we'll be uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I am super excited about this new schedule because although it may not sound like it, we're actually gonna get updates and adventure stories to you much sooner than before. For. You'll see. Here's to the future of RuneScape Chronicles, and enjoy the video. With Perilous Moons finally here, there are three new demi bosses MMORPG can't wait to get his hands on. Ooh, look at some of the loot here. Ooh. Claim loot. Oh! I got an item already, bro! Bro, first kill cut from the quest! <laughs> hey! Let's 
Let's go, dude. Get a print screen of that, bro. Yo. The streamer look, man. During the Eclipse fight, you have to click on the shadow of the boss before it tags you. And Olag decided to risk it in Darox. Doesn't teach people to be good at the game. Jeez, dude. Darox is strong, though. Beautiful. And the thing is, he's not even risking it here. If he does this method correctly, he will not die. That is wild. But did the new items actually hit? Yes, we hit it. We actually hit it. Oh my God, my heart is racing. My heart is about to explode out of my chest. Huge shout out to the Eclipse Adolatl. Is that how it's pronounced? Oh my God, uh, one bill risk fight one. One downside of this update is that the Fortis teleport doesn't fit in the crystalline nexus, but Mod Sarni said they are investigating, so it's probably a bug. The enchant spells were condensed into one slot in the spellbook, putting High Alchemy back in its rightful place. Schmack goes on a Zuck task, but this time the stakes are a lot higher than usual. He got 99 Slayer to max his ultimate. I, I never got the max message. <laughs> Wait, is it in the clan? There it is. Schmacko has achieved the highest. There he is. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. <laughs> now get used to using that amazing cape. Uh, features of the max cape. Search. Pestle and mortar. Grind bone. Only one. Use. From our Discord submissions, Immunin completed Corrupted Gauntlet in 83 kills. Lucky man. Oh my god, no! No shot! Bro, I got a magma mutagen! That's my first mutagen ever! That is my first mutagen ever! Oh my god, that's my first mutagen ever! I just got a tan on that mutagen. I kid you not. What the f is that? Also, all the BE commenters can suck my f honestly. You've got to be kidding me. Can someone get this man a blowpipe, please? And the loot is... Holy... That is an insane drop on an ultimate Iron Man. But he's got two inventory slots used up until he gets the elixir. Best of luck, Bon. Bodhi is really good at the Aka room. He doesn't... Uh, what? Are you trying to price check something? Why did that just happen, bro? Rest in peace, 20 minutes. How we doing today? Notice me, Plucks. What? In what universe did I click on the boat? The RuneScape universe. Let's review it in, uh, in half speed. Wow, that cl that is a pretty generous click box. We'll go Kirby is speedrunning the Inferno, so he instantly gets ready for the next wave. Oh, <laughs> um, well, uh, if we miss it by 10 seconds. Got him. Dude! Oh, that's so good! Yes! Oscu's practicing the Galvec fight before trying it on his group hardcore. But he's feeling confident. Are you sure you don't want to practice some more first? Whoa. 
Well, at least it's only your first life. Dino's getting a warm-up fight in the Rev Caves. Oh! Oh! Man! 207 mil! Happy, 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 happy! Later, he goes up against Double the Risk, a max PK set. Shut the f- <laughs> I swear to God, Zach, man. Zach Jaffe, thank you both very much for the biddies. I appreciate it. I can't get through Inferno because I'm bored is the biggest f***ing cope I've ever seen. <laughs> huh? I could do Inferno. It just makes me- it makes me so bored. I get- I just get so bored. It's so easy. <sighs> Boring. Boring. Meanwhile, they get to wave 31. They're like... <laughs> da, da, da. There's 14 blobs. I don't know how to flick these. They're running around in circles. They're going to South hey, Pillar, back to spot. North Pillar, back to South Pillar, back to North Pillar. <gasps> I'm so bored. <laughs> Crazy. Lone Gym Rats doing the infamous Lava Dragon Master Clue Step. Ain't no f***ing way there's actual peak air here, dude. What the f*** am I witnessing, dude? Oh, bro. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Freeze him. Freeze him. Go, go. <laughs> what the f***? There are no laws when you cross the ditch. Well done, Gym Rat. Lovely jubbly mates. Oh! Oh! I just need to look at that at the ground for a second, mate, because holy sh we did it, OSRS. <laughs> Scotty's on an inferno speed run, and it looks like he's killing it. What? He was on the tile next to Jad for only one game tick. Bad damage this time. Oh sh! I thought I clicked the Brugia. Wow, I f***ed it up with 2%. Must have dragged my Brugia or something. That's unfortunate. Damn, that's annoying, dude. Must have, like, clicked on the pixel next to it or something. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> No, no, I win still. If this is a purple, it's the chosen purple, bro. It's not the chosen purple, unfortunately. That would've been great. Every once in a while, the game lets you win. Don't forget to thumbs up before you log out sometimes too. And thumbs up this video while you're at it because we're logging off for the day also. We will cover many more adventurers stories in the next episode. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.